Good evening. News 8 is your local election headquarters. For the first time in this state, hundreds of voters are casting their ballots early. Yeah, thousands. Some still have questions about how that process is different from the usual method. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli has that. Overall, very easy. I would recommend everybody go out and vote. It was very easy, yes. Yeah, it was a little more crowded than I thought it would be, but I was happy to see everybody coming out to vote. Easy and convenient. That's how many voters we spoke to described their early voting experience, even if it did include a bit of a wait. I like the camaraderie of being in line with a lot of people and sharing ideas. In West Hartford, hundreds showed up in just the first few hours, a line of voters snaking through town hall. The local elections officials ecstatic at the turnout. It's been exciting. Um, the process is going smoothly and people are excited to vote early. The actual process of early voting is nearly identical to Election Day in-person voting, with a few exceptions. Each town has at least one early voting location, and it's probably different from the place you normally go vote. Because of that, there's an extra step to make sure everyone gets the right ballot for the district they live in. After that extra check, people go and vote. They seal their ballot up in an envelope, which is different than election day, but similar to absentee voting. Once your completed ballot is in an envelope, it goes into a secure box. Just how secure are those boxes? Very secure. Um, they have a locked label in the front, and then there's a, 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 a in the back as well, so it's sealed both. They do not count counted or opened before election day um, on election. And then those ballots in the town clerks are put into a um, waterproof, fireproof, giant vault, uh, just specifically for early voting ballots. You might notice these two officials overseeing the voting process are a bipartisan team, one Republican and one Democrat. That's how elections are run across the state neighbors, everyday citizens participating in democracy. In our office, it's not about politics. It's about fair um, and safe elections and making sure that the people uh, have a right to vote and that it's the smoothest process as possible. Early voting runs until November 3rd, Election Day on November 5th. You can go to WTNH.com. Check out our News 8 Voter Guide. It's got all the relevant information. Reporting in West Hartford, I'm Mike Cerulli, News 8.